there, Seraphin17 once again, I'm bringing you a, another commentary, this time Call of Duty 4, the beast that is. This game is super fun, but there are also examples of this game being not not so much less fun, just different kinds of fun, because when you're killing people, always good, when you're getting killed, not so good, and when your entire team is a bunch of retards, it can be good for many reasons and bad for many others. So let's just examine this straight away. I'm pushing straight out of my spawn to try and find some dudes. Two guys have followed me, the rest are still figuring out how to push forward on the analog stick, and I get dicked here, because there's a guy that's pushed the other way, and my grenades didn't pick anything up, so I'm thinking it's clear. Like a retard, but I pick him up afterwards, it's like, there you go, this M16 works, you're going down, boy. I mean, look at this gun. This game's been out long enough now for everybody to know that it is overpowered, and it's an M16 for Christ's sake. If you get hit by an M16, you're going to be crying your ass off, so just... Just don't get hit by an M16, that's the moral of this story. And I pick up another kill here, because they're trying to push us. And, I, and look at my guys here, we're, we're all stuck in this spawn area, because they're not pushing forward, they're too afraid. They think they're playing Rainbow Six Vegas. I, some of these people think they're playing seeing it where they bloody play. But um, I pick up another kill there, because everyone's pushing that way. And at this moment in time, they should be flanking around the market for us, because this, this map is, I think it's called Strike, is, is, is well known for for flank routes, because it's got tons. It's, it's a really great map. But um, really great maps can be bad because you've got a bad team, and this is a good example of it because I'm pretty much the only person here that's doing anything for the team, and if this was domination, we'd be getting raped because they still haven't moved from that corner. Look at them! It's like, my goodness! And I'm assuming people are pushing down because there's so many of our guys there luring them. And I look over here, and you've got to watch yourself on this open road. I would never say go through. Don't know where that guy went. Don't know if he crouched, whatever. My guy dies on the balcony. I get flashed, so he's still there. And there's a dude poking his head over the wall that everybody pokes their head over. And penetration reasons, I don't get the kill. <laughs> Use that sentence in any other walk of life, and you sound like a fucking psycho. So I bomb around here. Another route to try and flank these guys. And fingers crossed, I'll... I'll I see somebody, but it's, it's kind of quiet because they are really pushing down there. And just what I don't need is an enemy UAV because if you actually look at the map, and a lot of people don't because I don't know, they've got no eyes, they're going to know I'm coming. So I decide to let him go and, and take the, the bullets I would have got and come down here. And I pick up Mr. Luzianus, or whatever he's called, or Luzianus, whatever he wants to pronounce himself. Drop an airstrike on an area I'm probably not going to get anything from, but I assume they were pushing when they weren't. I get one kill, and it's the guy that nailed me right at the start. And I'm looking on the balcony, because this, this high ground gives you some nice lines of sight, but at this moment in time, there's, there's nobody around, so it's, it's wasting time. And then I, I cruise down here to see what's happening. We're, we're still winning somehow, magically, because the other team isn't all that impressive either, luckily enough. And I see a guy down there, and I, I managed to clean him up with the M16, and it gets me my first helicopter, but because I've got the... oh. Well, that helps that situation. But because I'm, I'm I'm rocking triple grenades, I don't have the bandolier, and the bandolier can really help, especially if you're, you're accurate with your gun and you're nailing people, because you can go on some really good tears with it, but... I'm currently throwing three grenades because I don't have the perk for much longer, because I'm probably going to prestige, because I see myself playing a lot more in this game. Because it's not as dead as I thought it would be, and the people that left here, there's a couple of assholes, but for the majority, they're kind of decent people. They're not too great, they're not too, too cheesy. And there's a guy on a balcony here, and... It's never going to work now, mate. Get your sent down. Run around, for Christ's sake. He's the guy that probably sits at corners when he goes out to a pub or to a nightclub. And I pick up another cheeky one on the guy running around with the light machine gun. And I'm trying to secure this position back and forth so they can't push us back any further. Because my team are probably all sat in that cafe having a drink or something. Because they're just fucking useless. There's no words for it. And the UAV shows that they're all going across that flank route. And my chopper, for whatever reason, he's, he's off in bloody Canada. Just flying everywhere. <coughs> And I get this guy trying to come through. He's a lip sucker, apparently. I'm just pretty much defending this one spot here. And it, it, it can be a good spot, especially on domination, if you've got two of the flags capped and they're, they're spawning over by one of the cafes. You can you can really go on tear, but this team are spread out a little bit more than I would like, so I, I can't quite work my usual routine on this area. And I'm, I'm pushing around. I, I know my kills are stacking up. I'm, there we go. I knew we were going to come. I take him down with one burst because this gun is just, oh, it's just fluent heaven. Drop another rest, right? Just checking out the, the lines of sights once again. Just defending this spot. And my team, for some reason, are still backed up. If this had been anybody decent, they'd have been around both sides of these guys and we'd have them, like, three-pronged. There'd be no way they could get out. They would be in so much trouble until it spawn flips. And then I know there's going to be a guy coming around because I've pissed him off enough on this side and I've stirred the hornet's nest, so... Peep out a little bit, he's not here, but he's coming. There he goes, another single burst gets me my second chopper. 
And I, I was assuming that they'd all be coming through the market, but I was wrong, so... Checking line of sight. I thought that was a guy laid down. He wasn't. It's was probably a bin rag or something. I'm checking on the high grounds once again. Always avoid the open areas like what I'm doing now, because... I'm kind of confident because I can't see anybody, but you're gonna get cut down from people in them cheeky windows. I'm just chilling with my Russian statue guy, just representing from this this courtyard. My chopper's doing nothing, man. What's he bloody doing? You know, the one who's good just got a Blackberry, just typing away. And there we go, a guy inside the garage with a sniper rifle. I knew there'd be somebody hiding somewhere, and I get dicked because I went out of my comfort zone. But I'm back. Chuck a couple nades. And pretty much sum up Call of Duty 4. My guy gets took out. And, oh, look at that. Look at the range on that. Or a single burst. That would have took three shots on Black Ops. And here I go again with a couple of sloppy shooting as he tries to grenade me. But I nail him. And I rank up, which is always pleasant. But yeah, Black Ops. I like the M16 on Black Ops, but it just feels so up and down. The G11 is, is much better, but you get it much later. And that, that's a big shame. If, you, if you're any good when it comes to, to long ranges with that weapon, you can't put a red dot or anything on it, but it's still pretty damn deadly, because there's no recoil. And it fires really quick. It's like a submachine gun from the hip, so I definitely advise you use that gun if you've not tried it. But as anybody will tell you, you use the guns that work best for you, because everybody's got a different preference, and that's what makes these games so fun. And I'm still trying to defend this street, because I go on a little tear on this cafe. There he goes. He saw me. I saw him. Here we go. Gunfight. And I win. And there's a couple of his boys start running, rushing through this area, but we've been rushed on two fronts, because my, my team doesn't know what the fuck they're doing, so I have to come around and defend them. I get really lucky with the hip fire there. Take out Mr. Blind Machine Gun. And here's the cafe, and I just know that they're going to be pushing this courtyard, and there he is. Rushing, rushing with a P90, trying to knife me, and that's what you get for rocking martyrdom. So I know there's one there, so I trace back over here, because there's going to be another dude, and he's here somewhere, and he tries going upstairs, and it's, oh, Mr. Light Machine Gun. The guy's trying to push that cafe big time. He must need an espresso. And then I get another guy in the opposite building, because that's where they stack up for some reason. Always stay out of doorways. I can't say it enough. I mean, even retards and all this, because... Well, apparently not, sorry, I've just completely contradicted myself. How can a retard know if a retard stood in that fucking doorway getting nailed by me? So, if you like standing in doorways, send me a game attack. I'd love to play with you, just watch my kills soar, but don't do it. And once again, I get lucky with a hip fire because he's got a submachine gun. And I get my third chopper. I'm, I'm representing for this team because no fucker else is. And the guy turns up, I get a nice little cheeky double spray here, which... He's kind of lucky because there's a third guy looking at me through the window, but I don't notice him. It's like, there he is, and I get a little bit of a hit detection, and for whatever reason, he's just chilling out. Take him out, and I get another guy, get him through the door, but there's just too many rushing me. Grenades, people, and <laughs> I finally fall, but that was pretty fun that moment. And I spawn back down here, so I know that they're all up across from where I've just come from. And Ambitious grenades once again. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but get them out there. Cause if you die with grenades, they're wasted grenades. And we're winning, thankfully, so the team is useless as it is, but we're still winning. Two minutes left, we're never going to get to 750, because these guys just aren't doing enough, and unfortunately I can't stack kills all day. So I, I cruise down here and check another guy, but there's a guy, two guys looking at me, in fact. I, I drop prone, I try and get a shot off on him, but, nah, you don't win them all. That was sloppy shooting on my part, anyway. Now the enemies know where we are, so they can see all the lovely glorious green triangles that are so afraid to move, they're practically a wall. I see this fella, he gets gunned down by another dude. And it's another one of those, they're in the cafe, we're on the opposite sides, let's see how many people are dumb enough to go in the doorway. So I got a hit marker on here, get a nice cheeky kill through the wall, always fun. And I'm the only person that's even concerned about our flank, so I keep going back and forth between these two areas. And I do get a couple of kills for it, I defend from this left opening here where our, our low level guy just got nailed by Mr. Light Machine Gun. But I do get caught because I stay there too long, which is one of the crown reasons. You've got to move around on these games. You can't camp. There's no problem. But you've got you've to move, man. No point, should I say. But I'm definitely enjoying Call of Duty Fox. It's a good contrast to Black Ops because all the shit in Black Ops doesn't seem to be on this. It seems to have migrated. And I am considering going back to Modern Warfare 2 and, and see if I can get some good gameplays and dropping some of that on there. But um, I've not decided yet. And there I go, getting, getting too ambitious once again. And Mr. Lamite Machine Gun actually comes out on top. But this is near the end now. This is when start, things start to get dire because we're all pushed into this cafe area because my team doesn't move. So I have to literally have eyes in the back of my head to keep on top because they're coming from the left, they're coming from the right. And in all honesty, I don't want to die. I've been having a good game. 
So I'm staying under here so that chopper don't get me. I pick up that easy kill because he's, he's rushing that way. His mate's on the other side killing our dudes. Ah, oh, that chopper gets me. Fucking choppers. Check him out. I wish that statue would just poke it one. Statue of Liberty style. Bit of Ghostbusters 2 action. And that's the end of the match, unfortunately. So 36 and 9. Not the best match, but pretty fun when I did it. Just dumb people on your team. And once again, thanks for watching. and Rate, subscribe, comment. Just hit that shit up. You take care now.